Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another wig install video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I install my wig using a scalp tape. And if you wanna learn, please keep on watching. Now the wig that I'm wearing in today's video, it's from Hair VV and I've worn a lot of their wigs. I've filmed videos on their wigs before and they're one of my favorite wig companies because I do not have to do much to the wigs to make it look good. It is a beginner friendly wig. It can be worn glueless as well. The hairline is already flawless. It's pre-plucked. The knots on the wig is pre-bleached already. So like I said, it is beginner friendly. And you also get instructions on how to apply your wigs and how to care for your wigs, including in the box. So this is with the scalp tape. The scalp tape helps to hide the grid lines on the wigs. You know those little grid lines? So this is what it looks like with the tape and without the tape. Personally, I really love how their wigs look. I feel like the hairline on their wigs already looks flawless and I don't really think you necessarily need the scalp tape, but it does make the wig look a lot better. Now they also have the fake scalp wig. So the, all of their wigs come with a fake scalp. However, you can remove this easily, take this out. Sometimes I do remove these because I find that they're not as versatile, especially at the side of the hair. So I don't really need that, but I do prefer using the scalp tape so this is what it looks like with the fake scalp so this is the hairline and how it looks so this is not the scalp tape this is a fake scalp and I think it looks just as good and also included in the box you have instruction on how to apply the scalp tape so I'm gonna put my wig cap on and do the ball cap method this is completely optional I don't think you need it with the hair VV wigs however I like doing the ball cap method because it does protect my edges if I just wear my wig cap without doing the ball cap the glue can get on my hairline and I don't want it on my hairline I want it on my ball cap so that's really why I wear my ball caps so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some bolt hold liquid gold to this and let this chill all right, so this is a scalp tape. As you can see, I'm cutting it down the middle. When I've applied this in the past, I use the whole entire thing for just one center part or a side part on my wig. And I'm like, um, I really don't need that much because the part is pretty, not that wide. So I prefer to cut it. That way I can use the rest of that tape for another wig or for when I wash this wig and the tape comes off, then I have to reapply the wig. So that's really why I like to cut it. So as you can see, I cut it and I'm just gonna measure it up and everything looks great. I'm gonna peel the back off and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick this onto the lace of the wig. So just sticking it on the lace. Now I don't bring it all the way to the front because it's gonna look really weird if you bring it all the way to the front. So try not to do that. And I'm just going to press it down. If you've seen my other video that I did with the scalp tape, I think this application is way better and it's, you know, I'm not really wasting all that scalp tape. We can use this at least multiple times. Okay, so now that the ball cap is dry, I left it on for about 15 minutes, the bolt hole liquid gold. I'm gonna cut away all that extra cap that I do not need. And I'm using a HD wig cap, you guys, and it's my own and it's coming out very soon. I told you guys like I have products coming out soon. I've been saying this for a while, but I promise you it is coming very, very, very soon, at least a couple months. So, or maybe a month. <laughs> but anywho, I'm just gonna pop this wig on my head. And as you guys can see, I don't have any lace on this wig because I actually filmed this video last week with the full lace attached to it and everything but then I had to refilm the video, so I have no lace. But you know what? It's good that you guys get to see how I apply my wigs without the lace attached to it because a lot of you guys have asked me, how do I, how do I apply the wigs? So here it is. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm just not cutting the lace. So this is how the center part is looking. As you can see, it's given scalp. So I'm gonna wipe away the makeup and then I'm gonna go in with some lace glue and you can use any lace glue of your choice. The one that I'm using, it's my own. So once again, like I said, it's coming very soon. So I'm gonna go in with a rat tail comb and just blend in that lace glue and I'm doing two layers of glue. If you want your wig to last a lot longer, you can do up to five to seven layers and you can leave your wig on for a week if that's what you wanna do. But honey, I do not like wearing my wigs for that long i personally prefer to wear it like maybe a day or two listen i don't like sleeping wigs okay i think a lot of you feel me on that so i'm just gonna go in with the hot comb now and just melt it down you can also use a blow dryer to melt the lace down the hot comb works just as well because you know it's heat you're using heat to melt it and i just apply some glue to the side and of course you want to wait for it to dry clear and then pull that lace down and melt it down and like i said this hairline is looking flawless 
guys i really really hate applying my wig when i have a full face of makeup on i prefer to do it when i have no makeup on i don't know why i already had a full beat on but yeah i do not like doing that but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and hot comb this hair flatten this wig down and i believe this is their cassie wig so it's like this nice um chestnut brown and it does have a little bit of ombre on the tips but i really really love this color so i'm just gonna go in with my little baby toothbrush and i added some mousse to it and i'm gonna tie it down and melt this wig down so i'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and voila this is how it's looking but i'm gonna add some more of uh, hair wax on the top just to flatten it down a bit because i added um rollers in the wig to give it volume so it's giving a little bit too much volume on the very top i want it to be more on the flat side but yeah this is pretty much how my wig is looking i really love how it turned out personally i I think the tapes look really good because you can't see the grid line so it gives it a really nice clean part and you can add a little bit of concealer right at the very um, front of the wig that way it blends into the tape but yeah this is pretty much the completed look I really hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you learned something from it and I will see you guys in another video very soon I love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye